Hey guys, I want to go over one way you can split up your GraphQL schemas. There doesn't seem to be like a great way to do this. I don't see any like standard out there that everyone's using. So I'm going to show you one way you can possibly do this um, using what we already have and not adding any extra libraries. So right now, this is what this is just a little schema I have right here, and I want to split it up into separate files because as this thing gets nice and big, um, this schema.js could get giant. I could have a billion mutations, a billion queries, and it's going to be really hard to see what's what. So rather than putting everything here, I want to split up between files. Now one way we can do this is because this is just a string, is to just like whatever we want to go here, we can do string interpolation, add it in here, um, and put it what we want there in other files. So we could put type board, type suggestion in other files, and then do something like um, suggestion, right? And then just grab that from a different file. So that's basically the technique we're gonna take. So I'm gonna create here a folder called schema, and I'm gonna put schema.js inside of it. I'm gonna rename this to index, because this is gonna be kind of our root. Um, schema if you will. So inside this, so one I might want to do is um, suggestion. So suggestion.js. And here what I want to do is I want to export three things. I'm going to export const types as a string. Export const queries. Export const mutations. And then what I'm going to do, let's see, can I dual screen these? Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take my suggestion. That's a type, so I'm going to put that over here. And we can add semicolons. Um, there's nothing other types I want from that. Um, queries, I've got user suggestions. We can bring over. Um, user boards about some suggestions and search suggestions and this one too so all four of these should come over here because they have to do with suggestions so I have a bunch of queries with suggestions nothing else I really want to add over here um, create books here's create suggestion so we can add that mutation over here Author, book. All right, that looks good. So then, what I can do? Oops. Is then just do import star. So the first thing I could do is I don't even have to do a fancy way. I could just say import types, queries, and mutations from suggestion, right? So we're just getting these strings here, and then I could just add them here. So types, queries, and then mutations. And that would work, because it would just basically add the string over here, it's the same as it was before. But what if we have multiple fi files? It would be cumbersome to just keep doing types, queries, and mutations, like adding the strings over and do like one per, like we could have a, like if I want to split boards off into a separate file, we could have multiple of these, right? And so just to simplify this, what you can do, this doesn't simplify it a bunch, but a little bit. So like I said, let's say you create a board.js. Let's bring that over here. So we can copy the layout. And it's important to keep the names the same for what I'm about to do, just so we, it makes it easier to add it to our schema over here. So let's get rid of the type. So copy that, paste it here. And we have users, author, all right, user boards, we can bring over, that can be one query. And 
and mutations create board but as you can see you can bring them over whatever you want so create all right that looks good so now what I want to do is now that I have two I don't want to import twice like that um, so what I thought would be like kind of a fast way to do it is just import all of them as suggestion and import all as board from board Done. I'm not sure if I should make this uppercase or not I think it's its preference and then what I can do so both of these are objects right now that have these values so what you can do is check for each one you can just do like loop over and create three lists so now we can create a const types const queries const mutations so we have three arrays um, actually th these should really be no that's fine types queries and mutations and then what we're going to do is we're going to loop through um, each one of these things right so make another list that is called schemas and in this we're going to have the suggestion and the board and then we're going to say schemas for each and then for each schema what we want to do is we want to do a types.push s.types and then queries and then mutations so we're looping through each one of these schemas adding the types to the type array queries to the queries and mutations and so the only thing we have to do over here since this is an array of strings is to do dot join and maybe a new line is appropriate here so we can do that here as well and bam now before I continue let's make sure this is working so over here I have graphical this was a query that I was running before let's see if it still runs and it does compiles okay so as you can see um, this is just one way to do to break up the schema and now let me show you what it would be like if we were to add another one so let's say we want to do not suggestion we get a suggestion board let's say book for example book.js we can copy the stuff here we can bring our type definition over here and we can come over to our query here's all our book queries and then our mutation create book add author to book maybe you want to group book and authors together it's, you know you can make it whatever you want put the mutations or queries together wherever and bam okay so we have this file now so right I just made a new schema called book so now that you have this setup set up whenever you create a new schema all you do is do this so you import it book and then you add book to the schemas and that's it it's already it'll automatically add it in and you're good to go and we can see run the queries still builds and runs okay so that's it for this video guys um, let me know how you guys actually build push your schemas together combine them if there's a better way this is just kind of one that I thought of that'd be kind of a simple setup um, and you're keeping all of them in strings still so it works with Apollo server nicely and it's see, it's pretty easy to set up and do now you're not going to be doing type mutations type queries for each one you're just kind of going to have put the queries here and the mutations here so that might be a little weird um, there might be a better way to go about doing this but I couldn't find anything that was like a good standard and so this is just one way that you might want to try it in the future so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video